What's up everybody, it's Travis here from Travis.media. So I just redesigned my website and deployed it on the Hugo platform, which is an open source static site generator. And I've had a handful of people ask me why I moved away from Ghost. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why I moved away from Ghost, I moved to Hugo, and just static sites in general, and also how to host it for free. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, if this is the first time seeing one of my videos, my name is Travis. I'm a self-taught software developer of about five years. And on this channel, I basically share everything I'm learning along the way. If you like that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button below. So like I said, I've had a handful of people ask me why I moved away from Ghost. If you remember, about a year ago, I'll put a link to the video up here. About a year ago, I moved away from WordPress, which was way overkill, to Ghost CMS. And to be honest, I'm really happy with Ghost. I still like Ghost a lot. I mean, it's fast, it's JavaScript, and it's just an overall pleasant CMS. But since being on Ghost, there's always been this nagging factor, and it's this. Why do I even need a database or a backend? I mean, I have a blog, I create content, I'm not signing users up, I don't have any courses, I don't have a membership site, I don't have an app, I just have a blog. And I like to write blog posts and create content. And to be honest, probably most bloggers and content creators don't need a database and don't need a backend. So if you don't need a database, what's the alternative then? Well, the alternative is static sites. A static site is just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's been around a long time. But building a site from scratch with those three tools, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, is a lot of work. You got a lot of blog posts, a lot of pages, and a lot of content that you have to manage statically. But thankfully nowadays, we have tools called static site generators. This includes Gatsby, Next.js, Hugo, Jekyll, things like that. And how they work is they actually compile all of your code and content into static pages for you. And then you just upload those files to your hosting solution and it just serves those. So it's basically just serving your static pages. There's no backend. And like I said, these static site generators, they build it all for you. And there's no dynamic content. It's all static. So what are the benefits? Well, number one, better security. There's more security because there's nothing to hack. There's no database. It's all static. Number two, it's lightweight. You build the pages, the static site generator builds all the pages for you and you just serve the pages. All the other stuff isn't needed. There's nothing on the back end to load. Number three, it's easy to deploy. Just generate the pages and upload. And most hosting solutions have, a, have an automated pipeline ready to go. So all you do is hook up your GitHub repo and every time you push to the repo, your host grabs that, rebuilds it and serves it. It's all automatic. And finally, you can host it for free on sites like Netlify, Heroku, and in my case, DigitalOcean. I'll get to that in a minute. Now, just a side note, what about headless ghost? I know some of you might be thinking, just run your ghost headless. Now, what that means is running ghost as the backend only. So you have the database and you use the API to interact with the data with your front end. So you can put on whatever front end you want. I can have React. Whatever, I'll have the front end, it'll talk to the back end. The problem is, is that I just don't need the database. I don't need the back end. So that solution really didn't work for me. I don't wanna have to be hosting in two different places, maybe have to pay here and not pay here, however that goes down. I just don't need the back end. So you might be wondering now, why did you go to Hugo? And to be honest, it all happened on a whim. I came across the Ghost to Hugo package on GitHub and I was like, oh, this will convert all of my Ghost content over to Hugo. Let's see if it really works. So I ran it, it worked. And then I was like, hey, why don't I just spin up like a local Hugo site, see what it's like. And it's as simple as going Hugo, new, whatever you wanna call your site. And so I spun up the site, it had my content ready, and within like 10 minutes, I had a local site on my computer with all of my content on it. So then that led me to looking for themes and I found a really cool theme. Then I was like, hey, maybe I can deploy it on DigitalOcean because that's what I use, that's what I'm a fan of. I looked on DigitalOcean and they have this new feature called the app platform. And this app platform makes it really easy to deploy, manage, and scale your app for free. You start out on a free plan, and if you don't need any of the fancy stuff, you can stay free. So I went on there, I opened the app platform, it asked me to connect my repo, I connected my GitHub repo with the Hugo files in it, it detected Hugo, created an app spec file, which is gonna allow the build from GitHub to the DigitalOcean platform, 
And next thing you know, I had this pipeline. Commit to GitHub and DigitalOcean rebuilds and processes the changes every time I commit. So by this time, I tweaked the site a little bit and I liked the way things were going. So I set up my DNS and voila, I have a new site. I still have work to do. There's some changes I want to make, but I'm really happy with it. And I have no backend. It's all static files. Now I can write in Markdown, which is something I enjoy. I can write in my code editor, which I really like. I don't like the WYSIWYG editor. I get there and my, my mind freezes up, but the code editor, it's big, it's clear, it's wide open, and I can type in Markdown. And again, every time I push my changes, it rebuilds my site for me. And that's how I ended up on Hugo. Still a big fan of Ghost, but I'm really enjoying Hugo. It's very easy to pick up, and it was a painless transition from A to B. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, as always, hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.